Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, ready to go with the start of round one. A lot of fight fans believe it. It's an eventuality that Jailton Almeida will one day be the UFC heavyweight champion. But how does he pass this test tonight? Maybe doesn't have the pronounced grappling advantage in this matchup as some other heavyweights. Perhaps he'll lean on the box for a little bit tonight. Only time will tell. Big power shot there. Oh, and yet another one landed there by Almeida. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pick to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pick. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, nice work as he delivers the elbow there from the bottom. Excellent ground and pound here by Sergei Spivo. Oh, back to the well with the elbow. That one landed clean again. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, nice combination of elbows there by Almeida. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Spivox in half guard. Making all these shots count. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Genio's going for a choke. That is tight. Oh, somehow, somehow. Look at that. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Another strike gets through on the ground. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Final seconds here. Oh, Round two straight ahead. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best? You ready to fight? Ready. Round well, two here. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, lands a hook. Nice land. Great punch. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh my goodness, what a kick! He missed with that jab attempt there. Keep your hands up. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice setup, nice take And an up kick. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Wow, what a kick. Very fast jab, Lance. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Oh, 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Spivak gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground and pound. He passed the half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, feet on the hips here. Beautiful transition. And very effective with the ground and pound. Keep it busy from bottom position here. Spivak's looking to pass in half guard here, but he's denied. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Almeida ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. And there you go, again, half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Up and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Almeida. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some. Ready to fight? Ready. Third Ready. round underway. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Jailton Almeida going for the takedown here, but he misses. Try to establish that jab. Great block there. Spivak's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. So we go down the stretch. He is clearly losing this fight. And at this point, you just abandon position and go for submission. Yes? Yeah, you got to just go. You got to start throwing things at the wall and hope something sticks. Oh, nice block. He has to evade stance space. Two minutes here to go in round three. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now. Not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Back to the well with the uppercut now, it's true. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head. Oh, oh, oh another heavy shot gets through. And back to his feet. win for him here tonight and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight
All right, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sergey Polar Bear Smithers!